hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of a and b if we have 1 over a plus 1 over b is equals to 1 over 10 and we solve this problem for the values of a and b and here you remember one thing is that over a and b should must be positive real number it means that we, we solve this problem for the positive real values of a and b now here uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we multiply this equation by uh, a b uh, this equation on both of the sides by 10 times of a b so when you multiply both of the sides by 10 times of a b uh, so our above equation is written as uh, 10 times of a b is multiplied by 1 over a plus 10 times of a b is multiplied by 1 over b is equals to 10 times of a b is multiplied by 1 over 10 so here in the next step you see here we need uh, some cancellation of the terms and uh, you see here we have this a is cancelled out by this a and after cancellation of the terms we will get here 10 b plus from cancellation of these terms we will get here 10a is equals to from here we cancel this 10 and 10 and we get here a b only and now here in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and here we move these two terms to the right hand side so after moving these two terms to the right hand side it will be written as this is a b and here we have these two terms are positive when we move in the right hand side it will becomes negative so we write here this is plus 10a becomes minus 10a and this 10b becomes minus 10b and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here in the next step uh, here uh, in order to make the factors of this equation we will just add both of the sides uh, by 100 we will adding 100 on both of the sides so after adding 100 on both of the sides it will be written as a b minus 10 times of a minus 10 b and here we have plus 100 is equals to 100 okay so we add both of the sides by 100 and now in the next step uh, here we need to take common a from both of these terms so when we take common a uh, it will be written as so uh, when you take common a from here we will get b minus when we take common a from here we will get 10 and uh, from these two terms uh, you see here we have minus 10 be the common term here and when you take common 10 from here we will get here this is b and because here we take common negative sign as well so this plus sign becomes minus 10 and this whole equation is equals to 100 and now in the next step uh, you see here on both of these terms we have b minus 10 be the common term uh, so that we will take common b minus 10 and we get the remaining values are so here we get a and minus here we get 10 and this is equals to 100 so uh, here we get our uh, product of these two factors is equals to 100 and you see here in the left hand side we have two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor so now we convert <coughs> uh, this 100 into the product of two numbers uh, so that here we have some uh, possibilities in which the product of two positive real number equals to 100 uh, are uh, the first possibility is that a 10 multiplied by 10 is equals to 100 and 1 multiplied by 100 is also equals to 100 and 100 multiplied by 1 is equals to 100 so here we have there are three possibilities in which we get the product of three numbers is equal product of two numbers is equals to 100 so we divide uh, this equation into uh, these three cases so here first we discuss our case number one and now here in first case uh, we first compare these two factors on these two numbers uh, so we will write here that b minus 10 is equals to 10 and 
a minus 10 is also equals to 10 so here first we uh, write our uh, first case in this form and now we uh, call this is equation number one and this is our uh, equation number two because here in this problem we find the values of a and b and now here for the value of b first our equation number one is implies that here we move this minus b to the right hand side and we get here b is equals to 10 plus 10 uh, and we get here b is equals to 10 plus 10 becomes here 20. So this is the value of b uh, which we get here from equation number 2 and now here in the parallel case uh, we get the value of a from equation number 2 so that equation number 2 is implies that this is our equation number 2 and uh, here you see that we again move this minus 10 to the right hand side it will be written as a is equals to 10 plus 10 and we easily get the value of a is equals to 20. So uh, from first case we will get here uh, the first solution of the given problem and uh, that is the first solution is equals to ab becomes 20 and 20. You see here both of the values of a and b are positive. So this is our first solution which we get here from first case. Now we move forward and uh, we again solve this problem uh, for by second case. So in second case uh, here uh, we compare uh, these two factors with these two numbers. Okay, so here we compare uh, in with these two numbers and after comparing these values we get here uh, b minus 10 is equals to 1 and a minus 10 is equals to 100 so this is our second case uh, and now here in this case we again easily get the values of a and b so from here we get our b is equals to this is 1 plus 10 when we move this minus 10 to the right hand side it will become here 1 plus 10 and here we get the value of uh, b is equals to uh, 11 Okay, so this is the uh, value of b which we get here from second case uh, and now uh, from here uh, we move this minus 10 to the right hand side and it will becomes 100 plus 10 and 100 plus 10 is equals to 110. So this is the value of a which we get here from second case and you see here uh, again both of these two values are positive as well as these two values are real so here our second solution of the given uh, equation is uh, a is 110 and our b is equals to 11 so this is the our second solution of the given problem which we get here from second case and now we move forward uh, towards the case number three and in case number three uh, we compare uh, the terms uh, that is b minus 10 and a minus 10 with these two values 101 okay so after comparing uh, these two values we obtain here uh, b minus 10 is equals to 100 and a minus 10 is equals to 1 so this is the our third case and now here from this case uh, we easily get the values of a and b so from here we move this minus 10 to the right hand side and it will be written as b is equals to 100 plus 10 and we easily get the value of b is equals to 110 so this is this is the value of b which we get here from third case and now here for the values of a here we move this minus 10 to the right hand side and we get our a is equals to 1 plus 10 and here we easily get the value of a is equals to 11 so from third case we get here our third solution of the given equation and that is a b is equals to a is 11 and b is 110 so this is the our third solution of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos